Okay, I've got the uh, valve back in this thing, and uh, I've been <clears throat> awfully slow with everything, so it's been up in the 90s the last several days here. Maybe it might uh, be a good time to do nothing like that. And this gasket kit they give you, there's enough for a, for a four-cylinder Wisconsin in here. I don't know if you can see this or not. Give you two head gaskets and combination of everything. So, anyway, we're going to have to attempt to put this on. And it, it does fit. Tell you what, some of these holes I drill ain't exactly perfect. Even though I had that drill, I did drill. Now we got the cylinder head cleaned up. Good enough, anyway. I can get some uh, bolts in there. Some of these bolts are not the correct ones. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. This one might be. It's because some of them are bigger. That's not even close. That's close, but. I don't know if there's any cigar involved or not. Yeah, I'm just trying to find washers for all these. I don't know if I got them or not. There's one there. And this is, this is just going to be the mouse putting these, these bolts in here, which is pretty much an everyday occurrence when you go putting these together. So. It'll probably make much sense to burn enough gigabytes for that, so we'll get back when we get this on here. Of course, I got the fan on. It'll get hot in here now already, but we got the head all down and uh, tightened up. I hope it's going to work all right. I, I don't know why that uh, thing makes that much noise when I start it. I don't even know if it's compression or not. Don't seem like it here. However, I don't know. So uh, if we don't, why? Well, let's see about something else. Let me see. We'll hook up the uh, battery. Try to turn it over. What did I say? I'm not sure if it's got any compression or not. The rings were... I, know one, I should have showed that one piston's not very good shape after I got it cleaned off, but... Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and give it a try a little bit. And if it don't uh, mount anything, I'll take the starter off. If it's good, and put it on my other one over there. So. Alright, that's enough for right now. What's going on? Alright. Well, anyway... Let's see where we are. we got the light in the place. Alright, so... Should be pretty close. Okay, let me see if I can see it. Here's a mark, the X. Where are we at here? There's the X on the fan. And the mark is right here. This is top dead center one, so we need to move this over just a little more. Right, come on, here you go. Right there. That should be good. The mark ought to be right. We can't see for the light, I guess. But anyway, the mark's on the fan and on the shroud. Okay, that's that. I'm having more trouble with lights and cameras than anything else. I wouldn't be a very good director or whatever we're going around here now. And let's see. Lights right in the way. Move it over here. Put this thing down here. Oh, I know a lot of dancing around the maypole here. Okay, so. <clears throat> we'll pop off the uh, <coughs> stripper cap. See where we're pointed. Well, by golly, that's 
Now wait a minute, that's not right. This is number one, so if we had it like this, These little caps are expensive, over a hundred bucks. I hope it's not broken. Okay, so there's a little notch right here. It corresponds with one in the thing. And uh, so we gotta get that situated just right. So we don't break something. Looks like that's it right there. So that one, and here is this one. And that. Well, no, it's not that. Get over here. This line is fine, but you never stay in the right place. No good way to mount it. Right here. Alright, that's that. No, it's not. There's a. Here. Get in there, you. Okay. <clears throat> there that is. Let me get this one back before it falls over. About got to be up here to see it. I think that should be that hard to push on there. Well, I guess that's the way it's supposed to go. Let me see here. Yeah, that's in there. This is in there. Now. Okie dokie. Well, we're going to see what happened. I don't think it was. Pretty sure we've got problems otherwise, but we'll see what we got going on. Probably no compression from anything. Alright, let's see here. Got to hook up our hot wire for the coil. And then, I'm going to spray some of this stuff in here. Um, then, we'll see what happens here now. Wait a minute, I put the spark plug back in my make sure I got power yet. We got power. Alright. I don't like to leave that. See I think this one is six volt to begin with. And so your points can get burned out real fast. They had a ballast resistor in line, which is good if you're not trying to start it for the first time. But uh, if you are, then not so much. Don't have to be exactly tight for that. Of course, that the yellow plug wire may be right, but that one, I'm relatively sure it not, wasn't the original factory spec. I don't see what we got here. Nothing, of course. Well, I'm living here.
I don't even know what we're looking at here. Not much of anything. All right. Okay. Um, I guess, I don't know if that even has spark or not. Let me see. Figure out where I did with my 7 8 wrench. Try to put it back. I don't care what I do. Let's see if we can have you out now. Did a little, little tweaking on it here. Let's see here. Good carburetor probably out of whack. It's a little hard to do this by yourself because you got your starter thing on the other side, your carburetor on this side. So, well, that's one thing. It's, it don't look like it's getting the fuel down in like it should. I suspect the carburetor's a lot of trouble. Well, I must see. Make sure I'm good. I want to always got to make sure you're. Coil bar is not hooked up on these points because it's a a good chance of burn burning the points. You know, because like I say, I think that's a 12 or a six volt system, and of course I don't have a six volt battery. But well, at least we're doing better than it was. At least we know it will run, even with that bad. Uh, Look like a bad piston, and maybe why it's not run so smooth. I don't know. Well, we'll check that later, but right now it's starting to get pretty warm out here. The humidity is up. We've been having rain, which is great because uh, we need it, but uh, along with that, and the heat of the, and the heat of the day and all that, it becomes kind of uh, hot anyway. I'm kind of happy to see that much of it. I'd like to get it run smooth, which I'll probably do later when it cools down a little bit. All right, well, y'all take care and talk to you later.